Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again, this is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Given their proclivity to aligning with woke movements, it was probably only a matter of time before Harry and Meghan joined the gender extremists. But today's revelation that the Sussexes are throwing their weight behind an organization who described the very concept of boyhood as fluid and socially constructed in an out-and-out -out attack on ordinary families is terrifying nonetheless. As the couple's true agenda is gradually revealed, it's becoming obvious that destroying the British royal family is only the start of their ambition of a hard-left Californian revolution of Western society. A big part of that agenda is erasing so-called toxic masculinity, which is slowly morphing into a general war on men and boys plaguing our society. The couple's Artwell Foundation says it is investing in gender equity via the so-called Global Boyhood Initiative on a guide for promoting gender equity by fostering positive masculinity in boys and men. So far so woke. However, it is only when you pull the bonnet up on the organization that you discover just how radical their aims are. The activist organization, which is somewhat worryingly, already working in UK schools via a curriculum pilot, asks primary school kids to question what they describe as gender norms, which are not tied to sex organs. While it is becoming clear that Harry has been emasculated, most likely out of choice, throughout the course of his relationship with Miss Markle, that doesn't mean hapless schoolboys should do the same. But that's just the start of this nonsense. In a report called The State of UK Boys, published last year, the group goes to war with families and schools for acting as gender and heterosexuality factories. It specifically takes aim at white, middle-class, heterosexual masculinity as a so-called structuring norm. Parents are even attacked for gendering their unborn children based on the identification of external genitalia in scans, including through elaborate gender reveal parties and a stream of purchases along gender lines. So that's right, according to Harry and Meghan's new pals, simply expressing your happiness on social media that you're expecting a little boy or a girl makes you part of the problem. I'd love to know at what age they think it's appropriate for a parent to decide they are indeed raising a young boy or young girl. After birth, there is criticism of assuming that boys or girls are naturally predisposed to behave in particular ways, with the phrase boys will be boys coming in for particular criticism. It would be ludicrous to suggest this sort of rhetoric was not infecting our education system. Because that's exactly what the Global Boyhood Initiative wants to do, with the aim for school students aged between 7 and 11 being educated about the role gender norms play in their lives through activity-based questioning and critical reflection. They'll also be asked to internalize these new gender attitudes and norms by applying them in their relationships and lives. What the hell would this do to our kids? And why on earth are Harry and Meghan associating themselves with an organization clearly about indoctrination rather than education? So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about royal family. Thank you.